out of the box or out of the wall, whatever you want to call it. We have oh, so close opposite way. Saw. The original OG saw that came out, oof, 2001, 2002, if I'm not mistaken. And this has sparked a phenomenon of being 10 Saw movies in. 10. Bonkers. But rewatching this unrated one, does it still hold up? Let's find out. <laughs> Chase Liaki here with the Blue Futon reviewing Saw. What's this movie about? Pretty simple premise. We have technically three guys trapped in a bathroom, and they got to figure out why they are trapped and how they're going to get out of this bathroom. So, do you like this film? Yes, I've seen this movie multiple times. It is a fun little movie. But after watching it again, I still had fun with it. But I noticed the low budgetness really, really affected some of the scenes in the movie. Not just the overall feel of it, but I'd say the production design and the editing of like, you need to probably make sure you make sure there's ceilings in people's houses. That's all I'll say right there. So when we talk about the movie itself, it is a very smartly written movie with a twist where you're just like, damn. If you haven't seen a twist like that in quite some time, even in horror movies today or even action movies today where they try to do the got them, it's not anything as like, oh shit, as this because it works with some of the acting and as well as some of the characters involved. You could tell this was a very low budget film because the gore really wasn't there and how they decided to shoot and edit the film. They decided to do the sporadic editing to make the audience feel like they're in their mindset. And in doing that, you don't need to actually flesh it out and have it kind of methodically. When I was watching the special features, I think this had like an hour long documentary on it that was pretty new about the game changer, the legacy of Saw. And the one thing they kind of laughed at was the car chase scene between the orderly and Danny Glover's character, where they're like, oh, that's like a three-minute car chase scene. But because they do the sporadic, like, the, the shaky, I'm going to call it the shaky cam, but just the whole back and forth of how it is done, which actually translates to almost every single Saw movie, it actually works pretty well of, like, the whole tension and the just the chaos as ensuing in all these different characters. This kind of sprouted the term torture porn, when re-watching Saw, there really wasn't a lot of torture porn in this film or gore. I said to go, this is all about imagination. This is all about, okay, this guy might burn to flames. Okay, this might this guy might burn himself. Oh, Carrie Yu's character, Ewe's character, I don't know how to say his last name, might be cutting off his foot, but you never see him actually cutting the foot. You see the, the initial cut, but going through the bone, you never see it in this film. And I think having that suspension of disbelief and having the audience think about it works. I do hate some horror movies where it's just like the cut to black and like, what do you think happened? This doesn't do it, which I'm okay with that. But you know for a fact they had a $1.2 million budget, which made over $100 million worldwide. That's what you call a win-freaking-win for everyone involved in this film. Like I said, some of the negatives, I'll go with production design. When you look at what the locations are supposed to be at, for example, a hospital parking lot versus an apartment's parking lot, that is not a good parking lot whatsoever. And I've noticed a theme because I saw five right now. When I said I've watched them back to back, I've watched them back to back to back to back to back. The production design of these shows are supposed to be cheap, I'm guessing, but sometimes the cheapness is a little bit too cheap where you kind of get pulled out of the movie. For example, here when... Uh, Monica Potter and Carrie Ooze character, Iwi, or I can't pronounce his name, I'm, I'm an idiot. Anyway, when they're talking, talking about how like, they want to maybe get a divorce, look at the ceiling. There is no ceiling. It's just a bunch of two by fours. And you can just tell they built these sets in little warehouses, which is fine. But I would just say pay more attention to maybe where the camera needs a pan or at least put drywall and maybe just do a quick coat of paint to make it look like a ceiling. But when you look up at a lot of these locations you could totally tell they're yeah you can just totally tell i'll put it that way and like i said before it's hard to dog this movie because of the cultural relevance of what this spawned even like eli roth is hostile like this opened the doorway of new types of movies being filmed either gonna like it or not oh and then finally this is the only saw movie out of the first seven if i'm not mistaken they got a 4k release which i think like two through six will get a 4k release soon the 7 might not because it's a 3D movie. But I think the 4K transfer is good. But 
I wouldn't expect anything such high bar because of such the low budgetness of it. But it still does look better than the other Saw movies. Because like I said, I just watched Saw 1 through 5. So I could kind of take guesstimation on that level. Like I said, I enjoyed the first Saw. Watching it again, it still holds up. Yeah, there are some cheesy moments. But it's hard for me to say like it's a bad movie. Because having a $1.2 million budget, first writers, first time actors, first time directors. You can't really go much wrong -er than this. Wrong wronger? So Saw will receive a 4 out of 5 of food cons, which equals at 80%. So let's see the Critics' News scores gave this one. So you have Critics a 50% with 191 of them. Audience score 84% with over 250,000. Critic consensus. Saul and Saul's audiences with a deceptively clever plot and a mithrald of memorable, nasty set pieces. But its lofty ambitions are undercut by the elastic streak that feels more mean than profound. Nasty set pieces. I bet you they did not know what was going to happen with the next Saw films. Anyway, 84, 80, 50. Chase Hawk here with the Blue Futon. Like, comment, subscribe. One of the things, Blue Futon, show up you. Blue Futon, say, watch a great day. Now you can watch it today, tomorrow, week, tomorrow, month, tomorrow, year from now. I love every single one of you. And let's just keep going with Saw 2. Saw <laughs> 2.